everybody I am a hot mess today and I think so is my hair oh my god I have done everything I can to possibly fix my hair but nothing seems to work and you guys will have to deal with how it is looking because there is nothing I can do about it except maybe straighten it but right now I'm not in the mood for spending another hour or something straightening my hair but anyway in today's video I thought I'll just catch up with you guys and do a little bit of a chit chat thing. I actually thought I'll go live but you know today is a weekday. I don't really know how many of you will be available at 3.30 which is my general slot for uploading my videos or publishing my videos. There are some things I've been keeping to myself and I've been meaning to film this video for a long time or at least speak about it in maybe a vlog or uh, I don't know as part of another video or something but every time even if I speak about it I kind of just cut it out. I'm a little bit uh, conscious maybe and also very anxious about it. I mean this is an honesty chat if you haven't already gotten it from my thumbnail or title I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna call it but just a couple of hours back I was going through my old videos I mean I'm not the kind of person who sits and watches my old videos but vlogs yes I really love watching my old vlogs so this time last year my life was in a completely different uh, space and right now how much it has changed I mean not in a bad way or anything but I feel like I haven't let you guys into my life as much as I had during the wedding time also I think I choked on my own spit very nice <laughs> because I shared so much of my wedding and the story and my vlogs like what was happening with my life at that point of time you guys all got super super curious and kept on asking me to do more videos with Vicky and uh, how my life is after the marriage and stuff which is not bad at all you guys are absolutely entitled to ask me all those things because I was the one who chose to share all those things with you guys to begin with but as soon as the wedding was done Vicky and I were in a space where we were still trying to figure out each other as much as we knew each other before the wedding after the wedding you know it's if you've been married you will know this whatever you think you know about a person before you got married to that person well that's probably just 10% of your understanding of the person I mean one year down the line I still feel like I haven't even scratched the surface of what he is like and what his likes and dislikes are each day there is something new about him that I learned we were um, kind of not ready to share it with you guys yet I think I mean I was uh, certainly waiting for a point where we both were comfortable sitting in front of the camera and filming videos or maybe in a vlog or something like that and also you guys should understand that Vicky is not the kind of a person who is a YouTuber at least before I met him I have been doing YouTube for two years or something so at least I'm super comfortable sitting in front of the camera and speaking all alone in a room <laughs> which is crazy but I don't mind doing it at all but he is not like that just like any newly married couple we have our own set of uh, responsibilities commitments our own dreams that we want to achieve and there is so much work going on towards that as well we are both working extra hard in the office and we're both working extra hard outside the office as well both of us as soon as we come home we work really hard at office i work about eight hours sometimes or maybe even longer because there is so much workload by the way i changed my office i no longer work in janagar four block i work in an office in kanakpura road and i changed my job about four months back and i think that's why i'm super stressed about my uh, job as well more than anything more than the job itself the commutation because now I've been traveling so far away to my job it is taking all the energy out of me I am like awake and super positive super energetic for a very successful day but when I go to the office I'm already half tired because of the traffic and stuff and then I don't know it might seem like a lot of complaining and I know the situation is pretty much the same for every Bangalore and maybe even somebody in any metropolis I'm sure in Chennai, Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi everywhere the traffic situation is the 
very same. I come home thinking that today I'll write a blog or uh, I'll edit a video, I'll do something creative but I'm already so tired that I kind of uh, don't want to sit or open my uh, laptop and work on it and over the weekends I'm so stressed and tired during the weekdays that I feel like screw it I don't even want to turn my camera on which is such a weird thing for me because I used to be the kind of person who used to take my camera even to my office and vlog there you guys have seen those vlogs and I don't even know how I've gotten here and because of all this stress I feel like somewhere my creativity has also gone down I I don't really know I have all these great ideas of what I should do and stuff but somehow when I come to doing it I kind of lose the interest and I think it is partially because of the state of my mind as well now. Uh, this also is kind of related to my PCOS and my weight loss journey which again because I changed my job, extra commutation, too much exhaustion and stress. I have not been able to eat remotely healthy or work out in the last 4 months as a result of which I have put on 5 kgs and kind of even breaks my heart because I worked so 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 hard to lose all this weight. I have given up eating on so many things. I haven't been to so many parties, I haven't been to so many functions, I haven't met so many friends because that meant extra temptation or something like that and now I cannot believe despite me not indulging in sweets, I'm in a place where I have somehow put on 5 kgs. I mean every time I go on Instagram one or the other person just like pings me and says because you've been such a motivation I lost 5 kgs, 10 kgs and you guys always show me the before after picture and it honestly makes me so proud that you guys are doing and that's also one of the reasons why I didn't want to come out and make this video saying that I've put on weight because I didn't want to somehow let you guys down but at the end of the day I'm still human just as how you guys tend to put on weight, lose weight, I also put on weight and lose weight. I was in a place where when my weight loss was at its peak, when I was at 50 kgs, my PC was, was absolutely normal. I was smashing it with my health, honestly speaking, and uh, as a result of which my mental health was also amazing. I was in a fantastic uh, space in my head. I was feeling creative. Every day I was motivated whether it was to work out or was, whether it was to make a video or if it was to do something new in my job, you know, I'm a content writer. so. To write something new with a new kind of a twist to bring my own twist into the, an article or something it just used to make me so happy and I used to look forward to it I mean everything feels normal but every now and then I have a pimple which is how PCOS started off initially for me and also now I have crazy mood swings which is also one of the symptoms of PCOS for me early on and um, the mood swings wise it's crazy I sometimes have downright depressed days I don't even know like there's no reason to be feeling that way there's no reason to be feeling sad or lonely and uh, at home Vicky has always been super supportive he helps me in the kitchen he is there if I need him if I need to talk to him and uh, we always watch movies together we have food together everything but then because I am in this kind of a headspace I don't really know oh my god I'm trying not to get emotional or anything but this is really hard so because of the headspace that I'm in my anxiety is also going crazy there was a point in my life for about six to eight Eight months time I was in the best kind of headspace I had zero anxiety nothing nothing made me anxious I was very happy but recently I think about two months back or something I kind of met with a small little accident I had no wounds or anything it was just a couple of bruises on my body but that day I had a complete meltdown I mean I just parked my bike on the side of Kanakpura road and I was like howling and crying like crazy I was trying to call Vicky but my hands were shaking so much I couldn't get my phone to unlock it was I don't know ever since then even the tiniest things they make me super anxious I don't even know why like if Vicky just passes behind me I get scared if my own phone vibrates and I get scared and that puts me in a complete state of anxiety for the entire day I'm anxious my heart is beating like crazy 
and I'm sweating, I feel like I cannot breathe, I don't even know, I somehow want to get everything under control and the best way I know is probably to again start eating healthy and start working out I guess. I really miss gymming also so I'm thinking hereafter I'll wake up at 5 o'clock and go to the nearest gym possible whether I give it my 100% whether I work out or not. I just give myself a goal, like a task to just go do it, I think. I want to start maybe vlogging some more, involve you guys some more in my life and it's honestly scary because I haven't done that in very nearly a year. I haven't let you guys in. I feel like, I mean, I have spoken about bits and pieces of my life in a whole bunch of videos but never like before not like last year where i was taking you guys wherever i went it felt like the camera was a part of my arm you guys were having the best kind of influence on me when i was sharing everything with you guys like what i was working out what i was wearing what i was eating how i was doing my makeup what i was doing on my skin i mean i was at the top of my game because it also was like a little commitment that I had done. You guys were holding me accountable and I also felt like I had a little purpose in my life in doing all those things. Hopefully, just hopefully, I will maybe get crazy inspired to pick up my camera, film everything and do more Instagram stuff. See, there you go. I have quite literally stopped, up, stopped uploading on Instagram. That is something I want to start doing as well. So I know this video has been super long. If you can relate with me in any way possible, just hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below if you ever faced or felt anything remotely like what I'm feeling. I don't even have a term to say what it is, uh, but it's just happening to me. <laughs> subscribe if you're new here and if you're feeling the same weirdness in your life and yeah i will see you guys in my next one love you bye